and welcome to the 6th episode of the most serious podcast. In today's episode I will be talking to a friend of mine and also a very young founder of a startup. We discuss about the current scenario of startups, we also discuss the whole ecosystem around it, what challenges a person faces when they st- when they're starting up. We we talk about his startup particularly Walnut. We talk about how does it work and its inculcation with artificial intelligence. We also discuss value addition and what does it really mean in the context of a personal and a business life. So let's get into the episode now. So this is the sixth episode of the most serious podcast, and today's episode is going to be relatable or uh, how do you say it? value adding uh, to the people who are listening to this because uh, the person I am going to be talking today. uh we talked about it previously also like uh, we're going to discuss some really practical uh, useful points and we're also going to understand uh the whole startup culture the ecosystem around it and all all those sorts of stuff so uh manat welcome to the show glad to have you hey rupu it's uh, really glad to be a part of your uh, this new initiative your podcast and i uh, look forward to add some value to your listeners and your uh channel yeah right so manat uh, let me just give a background to to the people who are listening so manat uh, is an engineering student from uh, dtu which is quite a good college in india so uh, what what he what he primarily was doing in the in the covid time i would say is he started up an entrepreneurship pursuit i would to call it uh, so they have this uh, ai driven startup which is around health and wellness so first of all manat let let's talk about it right off the bat uh, tell me all about how did you how did you start with this uh, what 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 led to starting up to this uh, pursuit and uh, what is your startup all about let's start right there okay so ripu like uh, first of all i would like to uh, mention your like these are really tough times the covid times and like i hope everyone is like uh, the people who are listening to this are uh, in good health and like they continue to be do so so uh, starting out uh, obviously i had my college going and like i had this a uh, uh, good life at college and like i had got a lot of uh, uh, initiatives i was a part of the so- many societies and like uh, it was going well but uh, this covid since this covid thing happened uh, we were all forced in in a lockdown and like uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, chaos and like uh, among the in the in the country whole country as well so uh, the place where i actually the time actually where i actually got to uh, 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 start out as a health tech uh, as a health tech entrepreneur and like start out this venture in health in the health industry was uh, somewhere around uh, may or june where we were when when we were actually uh, in um, amidst this lockdown period so uh, as as i was uh, discussing uh, the covid period actually started uh, led me to uh, think about the uh, like health tech ecosystem in in our uh, country which was proven to be uh, a bit uh, like not really functional and like um, uh, availabilities uh, to the common man for example uh, like the uh, the uh, latest uh, innovations in the ai technology uh, are not really available to the common people so what uh, happened is that we uh, decided to, two of my friends actually decided to have this uh, venture in which we uh, wanted to build this uh, uh, health, digital health ecosystem and uh, it it actually revolves around this uh, social media concept where we have a lot of users uh, health experts doctors and uh, users connecting with each other and uh, like so that uh, you you can actually easily con- uh, stay connected with your doctor and as well as your family members your family people so that uh, you you can actually stay updated and like uh, get uh, uh, frequently uh, like uh, get uh, tips and uh, t- from your doctor so that uh, you, together collaboratively we work towards a better health all right so this is the base uh, level of the startup which we are working on and uh, in order to ease out the consultations we actually wanted to have this ai based health tech solutions Uh, which are uh, which in which we uh, primarily focus on uh, chronic disease management mental health and wellness and also at a later stage when we have uh, the uh, correct amount of technology and the people who we have we actually will be uh, integrating it to smart watches to actually track your physical fitness as well all right so these are our main uh, focus areas where we are actually developing the ai technology 
so uh, apart from the uh, the base at which we uh, want to connect the doctors and the users this uh, ai technology which will actually help uh, everyone who uses our app in order to uh, maintain their health records uh, uh, like uh, gather their statistics and share it with their doctors actually it will be uh, very easy to uh, you know consult your doctor and the doctor will be very easily able to uh, 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 like point out where uh, exactly you do you need help and where exactly do you uh, like uh, uh, so it, it actually will be helping out on the on, on, in the online consultations part All right so this ai based tracking system like uh, if i further dive into it we have developed this uh, mental health model which actually is a sentiment analysis model based on neural networks and nlp All right so uh, once a user is uh, uh, giving his own inputs uh, in the form of a uh, uh, questionnaire based uh, so it's a, basically a chatbot based uh, 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 application and when the user actually uh, like uh, describes his day uh, or maybe a very specific three to four questions the uh, the app actually analyzes it and uh, accordingly uh, after a week of uh, after a period a period of a week uh, the, the user can actually have his uh, mental health record and his uh, uh, reports and uh, that then he can actually uh, decide to whether to pursue a psychologist or psychiatrist through our app itself all right so this is the mental health tracking which we have really built built it up it's uh, currently on a, running on a 86% accuracy and uh, the, so the next part is the chronic disease management where we uh, plan to track uh, your diabetes your so it's basically called diabetes retinopathy where uh, the the eye is actually defected due to your uh, increased uh, uh, diabetic uh, issues and uh, through this ai technology we actually can uh, de detect detect your uh, uh, your uh, 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 disease uh, even 6 to 8 months before it has been uh, uh, totally uh, before you have totally been infected through this diabetes and uh, we can actually cut down the costs and uh, uh, like help the patient very well in, in a very well manner so this whole technology is called diabetic retinopathy which has been uh, i mean google is also doing it it has, it has started it uh, around 2018 so we are a bit late but yeah we can we are actually planning to develop it into the indian market and like capture the whole indian ecosystem startup ecosystem here so let's see i guess uh, this is the i mean the basic layout of uh, what whatever we are doing and uh, we are a team of 20 people right now uh, we uh, 20 to 25 people uh, we have app developers data scientists and uh, uh, marketing people business development people and uh, we have launched the website uh, the app is uh, kind of due in 15 20 days we are um, also looking forward to uh, you know the the first round of our uh, venture capital investment where uh, we plan to uh, like uh, like um, basically uh, partner with a venture capitalist and uh, set up our offices in delhi and maybe uh, one one or two more cities and then uh, expand it accordingly to our uh, whatever we uh, generate our profits all right so the the plan ahead is basically uh, first of all we need to launch the app and like get a user base and then we'll move on to a venture capital funding and uh, uh, like uh, I guess we have this target of uh, approaching this uh, funding, etc. During the mid of 2021, and hopefully when we uh, uh, complete this this uh, funding round, we'll be able to expand and uh, uh, increase our user base more rapidly. Yes. Honestly, that that's amazing. Uh, that's some serious thinking has gone into it, and uh, people who are listening uh, would certainly reach the same standpoint as I am. So, Madhavan, uh, tell me a little bit more about how how exactly does AI help you here? Because uh, you told me about you're easing the consultancy part uh, on the user and the doctor's end, but uh, what exactly does AI uh, provide you in this? Like, uh, are you getting help in the data sets or something? Just, just if you could elaborate a bit on that. Okay, so uh, the AI technology is actually uh, aimed to ease out the, you know, uh, for example, when uh, a person is sitting at his home and he doesn't really want to visit his psych psych psychiatrist or a psychologist or a, a diabetes person. Because whatever our focus areas are, it is basically chronic diseases management and mental health and wellness, all right? So these things are not uh, something which you can cure within a week or within, a, within 10 days, all right? So... In order to ease out that uh, very long uh, procedure of traveling to your doctor for an, a half an hour and then sitting out, you just cut all that, all those things and you just uh, uh, bring out your mobile phone 
and you can actually uh, ch talk to this uh, chatbot and you can actually have your uh, 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 you know continuous monitoring of your uh, health mental health for example and then we are uh, also planning it to integrate it to uh, uh, cr chronic illness management all right so th this is where the uh, the ai part comes in in order to ease out the process of uh, uh, monitoring and the process of tracking and the process of uh, i guess uh, easing out uh, uh, cutting the costs and uh, actually uh, helping you out in any and every way possible uh, wow so yeah i think ai uh, certainly would uh, it helps you out like uh, in a lot of tedious processes that you mentioned wherein you you save a lot of manpower uh, and the workload uh, through ai and your chatbot helps you deliver the the data uh, helps you deliver the data to to your end as well as uh, on which you can perform operations and get to the consulting part right so like what what was the initial you know uh, initial thought behind this were you were you sitting with a group of friends and you you were thinking about it for a long time i have to do something in this field or was it a extensive motivation that you that in the covid times you you thought about giving uh, back to the people or you wanted to to follow some kind of you know entrepreneurship pursuit particularly in the health uh, industry so what was it that strike like uh, immediately that this is uh, what i really want to do at this point in my life okay so obviously as you mentioned it was just the way it is right uh, covid did hit and oh, i actually was very very motivated and enthusiastic about doing something in the health tech field in order to uh, you know help out uh, the people and like obviously that was the main hot topic and uh, speaking about mental health we had a lot of lot of issues related to mental health the, there were really so many stress and anxiety related issues and like people uh, committing uh, suicide etc during these covid periods we had a lot of things going on so uh, obviously that uh, when we actually sat down to frame out all of this we uh, figured out uh, first of all what were the lacking points in the current health tech ecosystem in india which is existing right now right so after that we began uh, researching etc and all so uh, researching about ai we also came to know that uh, uh, 46 around 46% of the ai developments and advancements and the research which is going on on a world worldly scale it actually will be affecting the health care uh, sector mostly by a percentage of 46 percent right so that's how we actually navigated our uh, uh, research and our work through the uh, ai based health tech solutions and when we uh, started to dive deep into it we found out that uh, many there are many various sectors which can actually many sectors in ai which can actually solve a lot of health issues right so that's how we uh, kept um, developing and like improving and uh, improvising and like uh, and at at the end finalizing the whole uh, uh, vision and the mission or whatever of the the startup which we are, we are pursuing right now so yeah amazing uh, so as we discussed like uh, manat and i we were talking earlier uh, we we both were very interested on the concept of value addition and how does it relate to almost everyone in a in a kind of uh, manner but uh, particularly when you are when you are pursuing something as a business so it becomes really important uh, it becomes an integral part of what you are doing so manat let's let's break it down uh, what is your understanding of value addition or how do you particularly inculcate value addition in your uh, company or personally in your life as well so what are your thoughts on it Okay, awesome. So, uh, value addition. Just let's uh, if if you require it, if, if we require it to break it down, it's simply adding uh, value to a very very raw material and like uh, creating profits out of it. Right? I mean, uh, uh, like uh, adding value to a very raw material and actually uh, selling it, or maybe from a business point of view, selling it f for uh, in a very different way, in a very uh, 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 like a very productive manner, and incre increasing its uh, valuability, increasing its efficiency. So, uh, if we try to break down value addition, like f uh, I'll just uh, say that uh, value addition is basically uh, taking that raw material from uh, a very f its very first stage where it has been produced to actually taking it to the level of fifth or sixth where you can actually uh, sell it in a very different manner and like uh, create a lot of profits out of it. That happens only when you add a lot of value to it. 
so for example uh, any dairy product which you uh, 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 take out from the uh, the animals right you can actually uh, sell, like uh, make a lot of packaging and improve its uh, uh, quality and like uh, uh, go, go through it through very uh, so many different uh, 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 refining processes and then you can actually sell it out to a customer for for example if you if uh, the cost price is uh, somewhat uh, 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 around 5 to 7 rupees all right you can actually sell that whole uh, packet of milk for uh, around 30 rupees so you've got you've added a lot of value to it right it's not the same as it it has it had, it had been so there there it actually comes there the value addition actually comes uh, speaking about how to relate it to my life or maybe my startup i'll just uh, for example uh, the ai technology which i am i've been using it is uh, uh, it is really uh, uh, something which we have done here. So to start it out, which uh, I would li I just like to put it this way, that uh, any uh, art uh, any research based on artificial intelligence is just about a research paper. It is just about a journal which has been published by a professor or a student, right? It uh, it requires a lot of efforts, but yes, uh, it is not really a, a commercial product which you can uh, just launch it into the market, make profits, cut cut uh, uh, cost, uh, make it cost efficient, and like uh, actually add value to the customer or the user. All right, so that's what we have been doing. It we are uh, we had a lot of researchers, a lot of data scientists looking into a lot of uh, uh, journals and research papers, and then actually making sense out of it in order to uh, uh, like cut uh, cut out the uh, uh, unnecessary part and like uh, shaping it into a very very uh, you know, a, a customer centric product, which actually cuts out, cuts out a lot of cost costs of uh, uh, healthcare, which actually uh, helps people to, uh, which actually helps people to uh, easily and effectively manage their health. Uh, for example, in, in the case of my startup and uh, the track down and monitor their uh, uh, health issues. So that's where I actually uh, relate to value addition. And uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I think, uh Particularly value adding certainly becomes a, a primal objective when you are, if you, if you look at it uh, from a, from a wider standpoint, you know, you're, you're constantly, whenever you're doing an act, you're, you're kind of adding value. You're either adding value to yourself or you're adding, uh, adding value to, to the end user or in your case or in any business's case, a customer. So that's that's particularly interesting how how you're using the AI research papers or the journals that have been published and you're you're adding value to them and you uh, you're putting out a finished uh, product if you if you might say to to people who can use it without uh, ever worrying about what what tech goes behind it. So I think that's very interesting what you're doing. Uh, also tell us a tell us a bit uh, realistically about what is it like to start up and uh, how to start up a company what are what are the certain challenges that you faced what's the whole indian ecosystem uh, looking like in a in the current scenario for someone who, who wants to wants to start an economic pursuit uh, at this point so what were what was your experience and what uh, what would you tell yourself uh, if you if you had the if you had the chance Okay, that are a lot of questions in one, but uh, and uh, accordingly, I can go uh, uh, go on and go on and, uh, if I if you tell me to answer all of it. All right, so I'll just uh, try to keep it. Uh, I mean, a bit short. And starting off with uh, what exactly uh, is the current uh, startup ecosystem right now? I would suggest uh, that um, it's it's actually the best time to uh, have these uh, digital startups, not particularly in, in health, as you all uh, as all of your uh, users and your viewers and your listeners are actually uh, f must be familiar, pretty much familiar with the fintech, the edtech, and the health tech uh, industries, which have been uh, uh, like uh, increasingly uh, r rapidly booming and like uh, producing unicorns in in the, in the ecosystem. For example, uh, farm easy cred maybe, and, and then we can also have from the ed tech side uh, these uh, different startups. I'm sorry, what what's that, what's that startup in, in ed tech, bro? Yeah, so from from the ed tech start uh, from the ed tech industry, we have got an academy. So all these are uh, pretty much unicorns which have been developing and kind of like in rapidly increasing the economic growth of India as well. Right. So uh, uh, currently speaking, we have got a lot of uh, technical uh, talent. We've got a lot of uh, business talent, business brains uh, in, in, in India. And uh, all you require is a, a lot of uh, motivation 
some some experience i won't say that uh, you require to be a, a very uh, experienced person and, and obviously i'm of the i'm totally with the uh, 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 this notion which says age age is just a number obviously so that's what actually uh, uh, motivates me and like uh, helps me be be on track whenever uh, i i uh, find myself amidst uh, a situation where uh, uh, it could be better handled by an experienced person but uh, anyways i i i can say at this point of time that i have been able to uh, uh, cross a lot a lot of hurdles uh, during this uh, past year which I, when i had started off so uh, specifically speaking uh, since i had started out uh, it was actually uh, i mean it was just an idea and like i had to convert it to a a, a, a proper uh, pitch which i can uh, have uh, then gather my team and then start working on it and then uh, uh, get users as well so uh, speaking specifically it's uh, it's a lot of hurdles in in the in the beginning but uh, i would say that uh, a, uh, like uh, anyone who uh, wants to pursue his uh, startup after a certain period of time it's so uh, speaking about the age or maybe after uh, whenever you want to start up it actually does not it's not not really fixed all right so you can uh, start at the age of 20 25 or maybe 45 it all it actually depends all on you whenever you have that a uh, mindset when you have that motivation whenever you find that uh, business opportunity that market opportunity that's actually very essential all right uh, even more than uh, your experience the market opportunity the timing actually matters in in uh, whenever you have uh, like whenever you want to start up all right so uh, it's a it's actually a mixture of a lot of things uh, uh, in, in 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 my suggestions i would actually like to mention uh, a few things where uh, i feel uh, before starting out needs to be very thorough very uh, very uh, to the point and very specific uh, to any entrepreneur who needs to who wants to uh, start up uh, in any uh, particular industry it, it's actually uh, 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 it doesn't matter where, where you want to start up in which domain you want to start up but uh, uh, first of all uh, the product market fit which we actually speak of is very very important and uh, you need to actually have a very thorough market research before starting up because you are uh, uh, going to invest a lot of time in your uh, 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 visions right whatever you plan to pursue you need to uh, invest a lot of time so even before doing anything you need to have a very thorough market research uh, generally people do skip all of that uh, i uh, i definitely uh, 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 i am against any uh, you know speculations we we need to very uh, be very specific and uh, very thorough in our research and uh, apart from that uh, i do follow this uh, uh, youtube uh, channel on y combinator all right so you guys can also uh, i mean uh, go and uh, there's a lot of uh, very useful stuff going on there i i just uh, uh, i just got this uh, particular point in mind that uh, whenever uh, uh, entrepreneurs in the, this uh, particular uh, century whatever you can call it so people are generally focus on the solution all right they just uh, don't really worry about us. so they people really start out with a solution and then try to relate it to a certain problem that is not the actually the proper the particular way where to go you need to first of all figure out a very very relevant a very valid problem and then uh, like with the help of technology you need to uh, solve out that uh, solution bring out solutions it need not it needs not be very uh, like you know a very uh, uh, technical heavy or you need not have a lot of uh, 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 ai or maybe blockchain or whatever uh, technology is very relevant in these days you just can do it with a very simple website as well as soon as you're solving a very very uh, specific very relevant problem all right you can have a billion dollar company just with a website uh, if you're solving a very uh, uh, like very typical problem and which is uh, actually faced by a lot of users so uh, just uh, to start out that's uh, that's actually very uh, i mean these two three things are a very valid point and uh, as soon as as far as uh, i mean as uh, as you uh, uh, tread your way as you make your way through uh, up through the uh, uh, entrepreneurial journey you'll uh, uh, like uh, uh, like come across this term product market fit where you actually want to have your product into the uh, like you know uh, enlisted into the market and like uh, basically gain uh, uh, some users and like uh, so this can just confirm that whatever you're creating is actually uh, accepted and it will actually be used up by your uh, users and uh, you are actually creating something all right and then uh, uh, the the phase where uh, the phase comes where uh, you actually want to have uh, th this investment and like you just go on with a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, team building and like having co-founders and like having a strong team which actually believes in your vision as well as uh, as as well as you do so that's also very important that the team building and the co-founder part uh, so uh, once you have a strong team you can actually achieve i mean that's uh, that's actually also a very important uh, point to you know uh, uh, focus on apart from that i guess it's uh, uh, whatever is described i mean whatever is uh, generally said that it's a very difficult journey yes it is man i mean but you need not really give up in between you, you can just you know calm down you can just uh, t- tell yourself that okay it's not happening i mean uh, i can just go down to sleep i can just rest for a week maybe all right and the brain actually keeps on thinking how to actually solve that problem how to actually go uh, uh, across that hurdle which you which you've been facing uh, recently so you you just like just lay low for some time and right and you can actually come up with an innovative solution after 5 7 days after 10 days maybe but uh, you need to be really patient once because uh, it's not a it's not a 6 month or not even a 6 month or a one year job it's it's actually uh, building up something that it actually takes one or two years maybe of your li- of your time and of your life and like if you're really serious about it so that's where uh, a lot of um, you know a lot of people uh, just uh, fail and uh, so obviously every entrepreneur faces the same uh, number of difficulties and the same almost the same hurdles the, the thing is that uh, patience and all, all these points which i had mentioned earlier is it's, it's uh, always a matter of all those things uh, yeah all, all right i think these are practical insights uh, particularly because when you're when you're looking from since most of us or most of the people listening to it i particularly too uh we think about ideas a lot you know everyone is thinking that i have just got this uh, multi million dollar idea what if i just you know if i just turned it if i just started executing then this would be a very successful company but what we often forget is uh we're looking at it from just our point of view and uh, the point you mentioned repeatedly was was market research and uh, it was product market fit uh, if i remember correctly so i think that's very important and when you're just looking from your standpoint you you find your idea very profound because i think it it is a kind of narcissistic uh, uh, ability to all of us uh, i think but doing market research and analyzing that is the world actually ready for your product or is it actually meaningful in the current uh, scenario i think that's very important also uh, patience is also a virtue i think uh, biggest of all of them so patience but how did you how do you find patience uh, like what's your journey to keeping yourself patient and not making those decisions or not you know getting to uh, points where you think uh, maybe i should not pursue it anymore or maybe is it worth it so do you have those questions in your mind and how do you deal with them Okay so as i mentioned it's it's very simple you just go off to sleep man i mean uh, like you just uh, close down your laptop you just close down all your thoughts going on in your mind and just go to sleep by by going to sleep i just don't mean like literally but yeah you just uh, lay uh, just uh, just uh, i mean do some other things uh, other than uh, thinking about what exactly is the solution you can actually uh, like uh, not work on it for 5 7 days and uh, uh, when when it's a very uh, big problem and like uh, when ev- every uh, you, you actually think that it's not going uh, w- how you wanted it to be or maybe it's not really working out the way it should right so that's the point where you just just you need to be patient like uh, f- f- if i speak about myself i i, I guess it has been uh, this uh, constant belief in my uh, you know in my uh, Uh, initiative where uh, uh, it's not just my belief it's act also my uh, the team which which actually uh, uh, works out with me uh, um, uh, uh, four to five, five to seven hours every day all right without fail and like uh, they it's it's actually their vision and their belief in the idea and their their uh, 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 belief in me particularly that we will uh, we are actually doing something worthwhile and we'll be making a difference in the uh, uh, health tech industry right so all these things actually help me to be uh, patient and like keep going and pushing and pushing and even more when uh, things get uh, uh, really complicated maybe and then things don't really work out we have a lot of uh, discussions we do uh, have a lot of meetings and the figure we don't really leave that uh, thing unless it's figured out but yes you need to be patient right we just need to be uh, very calm and like uh, unless you you do that you cannot really have a viable solution 
uh, yeah that's 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 how I, i mean i i guess i have tackled mostly my problems in my uh, uh, like my journey that that's the uh, insight you have uh, I, yeah i think the the part you mentioned of your team also having a belief in that particular uh, ideology or uh, the initiative that you have started that is very important because uh, if you, if you if you're just an individual you you are capable of uh, you know out uh, you know putting some things on a pedestal or uh, you know making some things look like uh, bigger than they actually are but if you have a team of people around you it it kind of puts uh, certain hurdles or obstacles into perspective and you you figure out your way around them i think that is very important uh, like i think one thing that really interests me or that i'm very curious about generally whenever i'm i'm talking to a person who has gone out and done an entrepreneurship uh, venture is how do you get to the uh, phase of execution from ideation because most of the people are stuck still at figuring it out ideas or thinking about ideas how do you uh, take a pen or uh, what uh, how do you just open your laptop and start actually executing how does that point happen or in your particular case when did it happen when when did it go from an idea to an executing uh, you know initiative okay so uh, that's also a very interesting topic which you've like uh, touched here the execution part right that needs to be uh, very very uh, instinctive and it's need, it needs to be uh, somewhere near to perfection right that actually depends on whether your startup is a uh, 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 a successful startup or it's, it's it's a failure so it actually is dependent on the execution part right so uh, uh, in my case i actually do trust my uh, intuition and i do uh, like act on my gut like you, you can just say that so uh, the execution part is that you just uh, once you're uh, uh, satisfied with yourself that you you confirmed you've done your research you've done your planning you've done your strategy uh, that's the that's just the point where you need to just start it out like j- just tell everyone that yes you are doing this and uh, the way i did is that i just launched this instagram page first of all and uh, so, so suddenly out of anything i just uh, did uh, a few a few posts on instagram describing my idea describing my product uh, given the fact that uh, we are we were all on the, on a lockdown period and i want when i wanted to connect uh, was could only be through these online platforms right so i just uh, started out with this uh, uh, small small posts and small uh, videos where i started to explain about my idea and like started to gather a few uh, people who uh, actually wanted to talk and discuss it with me that that's where uh, some sort of team building happened and then i obviously uh, uh, took to linkedin i just uh, uh start uh, out to find more teammates and like uh uh building a more uh, uh, uh building a basically a ideology a solution which where actually it makes sense so just just to mention here right whatever you've thought uh, like in the beginning it's not going to be same uh, like after uh, after a month it's not going to be same after 6 months it, it actually keeps on improving and improving as soon as 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 you go through it as as you uh, carve your way as you carve your product as you shape your product to perfection it uh, actually uh, so it's, it's just that you need to start it out first of all right and you need to have that uh, gut instinct you need to have that uh, uh, belief in you that you need just this is the right time there's no other uh, time uh, which is which can be more perfect than this one and you just start it out by any any uh, th- possible medium which you feel comfortable with you can just start it out and then uh, things uh, like happen uh, you know uh, things do fall in place after some time and you just uh, make your way through it basically yes i think uh, that is also a very practical advice or uh, or an insight because if we if we if we keep on procrastinating it 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 becomes more of a challenge i i, I believe because once you think uh, like uh, okay i have to do this also if if i want to execute this i want to do this also if you keep putting it off for a later uh, time period then then you think about it being more of a obstacle rather than a pursuit that you were excited about so it's important that you start right away and which was uh, true in your case and i think that is why uh, you are making progress so i think we we are coming to the to the conclusion of this episode and i want uh, our audience to get some philosophical insight into uh, mannat's brain or how does an mannat's mind how does he think about 
life in general or what is uh meaning matlab uh, what what is the meaning of life to you how do you find yourself thinking about life or why should i do things what motivates me what do i want to be looking at at the end of my life so what's your stance on all of the life talk okay so that's also a very interesting question because uh, i mean uh, if uh, if we see it right now uh, uh, you're asking this to a 22 year old person right and uh, uh, after 10 years when i look back at this podcast maybe uh, i would uh, i would be able to figure out that yes uh, uh, when i was this this uh, 22 year old i had this philosophy and then after 10 years so it's actually uh, it, it's a very changing process uh, so uh, speaking about right now uh, speaking about myself in particular i i would say that i i do have a lot of uh, uh, fun and like uh, with my friends here in college i i do uh, participate in a lot of events in a lot of uh, fests college fests etc so apart from that uh, the serious stuff i i just uh, stick to uh, achieving a uh, small very small steps very small goals and uh, uh, it's obviously very important to keep a big uh, picture big picture uh, goal in your uh, uh, vision as well all right so for me it's it's like uh, uh, it's basically uh, adding a few uh, a lot of value to uh, whatever you are uh, doing it's actually adding uh, it's uh, it's actually making a difference that's the main phrase which i would like to stick to uh, it 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 uh, it actually depends on what uh, difference have you made in this very short uh, uh, pe- time period you've got in this world right in this small world so uh, how do you uh, see uh, see yourself and how can you look back uh, was your story inspiring was your story uh, uh, full of uh, fun and like was it a really uh, an ad- adventure story was it thrilling was it uh, was it inspirational uh, can people look up to you and like you know uh, think uh, learn a lot of lessons and like uh, go through what exactly uh, uh, i mean learn a lot of uh, life lessons or maybe career lessons or whatever right personal lessons what you you can uh, actually uh, so basically uh, uh, the the main theory being uh, you need to make a difference and uh, whenever you look back you can actually say that yes uh, uh, i have got uh, accomplished i have uh, come a long way and like i have accomplished uh, whatever you have accomplished it's, it needs not be need not be a lot of things you, uh, when you know you have made a difference you act, act can actually uh, satisfy factorily uh, you know uh, go to sleep or maybe uh, uh, like yeah go, go go and rest after uh, you've retired or anything you know uh, i i would say myself to be uh, i want to achieve a lot of things uh, given the very short time frame i i suppose that uh, when, whenever i think start thinking i i, I think that uh, it's there's a lot that can be done right so i i don't really have that that much of time to actually execute all all those things but yeah whatever time i can actually manage apart from my college and my uh, regular work and my startup and like i i try to make uh, different things i try to uh, you know uh, 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 keep my uh, uh, relatives and my friends and my close ones really uh, um, uh, you know uh, connected to them and uh, cuz obviously family and etc is also very important apart from your career right so uh, i do uh, and also uh, at the end i would like to mention this that uh, since we are going through this covid period uh, it has actually made a lot of difference you know in uh, all these uh, uh, uh visions and in, 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 in all these purposes of life uh, uh, uh comparatively to what we were before the covid period and the lockdown etc so it has taught us a lot of things and yeah yes uh, i think your philosophy of life uh, does make sense and i think it is also a very positive way of looking looking at the journey that we've got you just keep on taking small steps and at the end it it does add value because if you're trying to make a difference you most certainly will because uh, the the first and probably the most important step in in value addition is <laughs> trying to make a difference so i think that, that there were many many interesting uh, things that people would have picked on uh, picked up on through this podcast and also uh, i would also be very interested to look back at this podcast 10 years later and uh, thinking about all of the people who have been on this show and making it out like uh, what they had in their mind for their philosophies of life and and what they are uh, where they are at uh, right now so i think that would be a very fun uh, experience to do after a, a time frame like 10 years in the future but it was amazing to have you manat and i wish you all the very best uh, for your startup and you personally uh 
any any last uh, thing that you want to say or should we just wrap it up uh thanks a lot ripu for having me on your uh, podcast and this channel i have uh, uh, great expectations from your channel and like i wish you all the best with this and uh, any other initiatives which you uh, do uh, have and like uh, for your future as well and uh, for the users i would just like to mention that uh, so putting up a last thought uh, to the viewers so putting up a last thought to the listeners here i would just uh, try to uh, instill this uh, thought in your mind that uh, instead of like uh, procrastinating or maybe uh, like uh, thinking too much or maybe like uh, you just need to trust your gut and your instinct and like uh, uh, get to the execution part as soon as uh, it, 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 it is possible obviously you need to first of all be confident with yourself that yes uh, you have got substance in whatever you are doing your planning and uh, just after some research and some uh, strategy and some thinking you, you can just uh, straight away go down to act and like uh, execute it so that's how you actually uh, uh, get onto the field and uh, get your uh, uh, boots dirty and like uh, go on the way to actually make a difference in the world yeah and with this we reach the end of this episode I hope you liked it and I also hope that it did add some value in your life. We will be back again with another amazing episode pretty soon. Cheers.